Uh, Sensei, can you hear me okay? I'm fine. Can't hear Kenny, but I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you. Well, on Kenny's Good. behalf, welcome to everyone. Welcome, Bob. Good evening, Sensei. <laughs> uh, you're on. Yes. Thank you. Hi. Okay. Uh, we'll try to pick up more on the self, but I want to go through the warm ups uh, that we've been doing. Uh, a lot of uh, interest of uh with the with the chanting experience so i want to uh continue with that a bit uh where should we start here tonight uh let's see if there's anything you need going in for say a quick clarification so uh so here's our here's our our basic universe that we're in okay and we're talking about uh in that creation of that universe there are two forces which one way we can look at them is the great circle forces the great centered forces okay uh and that how nice it is important it is to to uh get a fuller of the combination of both we have a tendency to uh either be a major with the circle energies that of course create a character or centered energies which uh create a character but as you go fuller and fuller and get both uh, uh that's cool that's cool so i told you oh sensei's uh, style or where he started from he worked a lot the centers and he got pretty good with it really good with it and then he sought out Deguchi to get more clarity on the circle energies. Okay, so uh, he was good, he was pretty damn good as the centered one. Uh, and as he caught on to the circular one, then it was a big time change. Uh, the forces are like, one way of looking at it, are like parents and depends on, uh, so the parents, uh, will create a character who will be on center. So there's a circle, center, and on center is a character. Again, the more circle form can breed a character. The centered form will breed a character. When you get both of them, it's a hell of a good character, you. Okay? Ah, anything on that? <laughs> Anything that's going to interfere with our continuation of breaking down the universe, feel free. Uh, this means you can open mic and wave a hand, something if you want. Anybody, anything on that basic layout? Some questions are fine. Okay, yeah, right there. Don't forget okay. this. Oh, go ahead. Okay, this is Amy. I'm going to ask a dumb question. <laughs> Florida Amy. Yes, Florida Amy. Florida Amy. Dumb question. Yay. Yay. Okay, so, you know, I get center, and my experience in the past with center is first centers in me, then I'm in center, and it keeps, and when I experience it, it's a circle around me. I remember once oh. when you threw me, just one other thing, be, I, I won't be long. I remember once when you threw me in a STEMI and time slowed down and I experienced this bubble around me and the bubble landed and then came up and then my body came down. So when I'm teaching or when I'm experiencing myself, you know, the differentiation between the circle that is the center and the circle that is the situation, I'm not quite sure about how to, which, which is which, if I'm not calling it out specifically. I'm sorry, I, I missed part of that. Uh, There's only one center, okay? If, if I heard anything you said, there's only one center. Uh, the circle will have a centered character. The center 
will have a character in relation to the circle it's in. There's only one center. What would I miss? Somebody want to interpret? I'm, I'm not saying that there's many centers. I okay. get that there's what, one center. What, did I say what I said was okay or no? Yes. Amy. What you said was okay, but I don't think Amy has fully explained her question. Okay, Amy, you're on. Okay, so if I'm experiencing center as um, as a full uh, as a, a as a circle around me, meaning that. Okay, center and circle. Okay, go. Okay, but I thought circle as you're defining it is situation or environment. Yes, you're saying you have a separate circle from that? Yeah, yes, I have a circle around me that is me in my energy field. You know, it's 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 more than just up down. It's is it so the, I'm standing in center. Is it the uh, aura, if you would, of the character? Centered character has its own aura. Is that kind of thing? You're picking up something there that's sort of circular, fuller. Is that, yes. is that what we're talking yes. about? Yes. Yes. Okay. And it, yeah. Okay. And it keeps in right. So it's a standard. character's aura. Okay. Character Zora. Is that, is that, you agree with that? Or is that a good guess here? <laughs> Dora, character Dora? I don't know what that means. Aura. 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 An energy. Go around a character who's in good shape. Me, I don't. Okay. Okay. Is that, is that what we're talking about? But I, I, I don't know. Uh, Anyway, I've got no problem with you playing with center with some kind of personal circle there, as opposed to the circle of the situation. Uh, I don't know. Play with it. Talk to it. See what it has. To, has it explained itself? Because I don't know. Okay. But my best guess is an aura type thing, a radiating field around that character. That's my best guess at the moment. Now okay. you play with it. You dialogue with it. You let it lay itself out, you let it unfold itself, if you would, explain itself. Okay. okay, so research inquiry people is also what you all have to do. I'll lay out things, I'll point some things out, uh, but the continuation of things and the finer of things, you gotta, you, you have to be an inquirer, you have to be, interested enough to hang out with that that kind of thing for example when we did the one by two by three by practice right uh which is a great pattern by the way uh some people oh boy i'll be happy when in class you get to four by what do we need in class you got one by two by three by you play with four by you play with five by okay i'm just pointing out some directions okay and hoping you'll catch on to how everything's intelligent so you can dialogue with with things and and the intelligence will unfold for you as you settle you get, the dialogue gets better kind of thing so okay amy that's my guess i don't know okay you double check call me back <laughs> okay thank you bob thank yeah. you yeah <laughs> anybody anything at this uh, with this piece Okay. Okay. Uh, now, this is important. You want to keep this in mind along the way because uh, the, uh, the I le level, I got to figure it out and all of that. Uh, it's okay. Okay. It, uh, but for the finer work that we do, the I level is not good enough. The I level is great. Uh, to see your plants falling over dead because they're not getting enough water. Okay, I can cover that. Uh, to get in your car and see your gas tank is on empty. Oh, time to get gas. Uh, I can handle that. Okay. But when you start getting into finer work, we, we need some reference. So I like to reference 
easy the eye, and let's feel, okay? And then as we continue, uh, as, as we get a sense of finer and finer, finer feeling, finer feeling, okay? It's kind of like we might have done something like that in a dojo where somebody grabs you and, and obviously is pushing you north. And then after a while, we kind of settle down and they sort of touch you with maybe a finger and softly, ooh, almost, almost hidden, pushing you to the north. And you pick that up. Okay. All you've done is shift it to a little fi a finer, better sense of feeling. Then we continue. So feel, finer feeling, create your own words here. And we continue into sensing. Ah, uh, and then finer levels of sensing and continue finer and finer levels of sensing. So, so this is my reference map, uh, if that's okay with you, okay? I think, I feel, I begin to sense, I finer sense in these finer dimensional levels. I can pick them up because I'm sensing, okay. All right, anything on that way of referencing things? Are we okay there? Then, where are we? Oh, there's someone more here, I think. What is it? Uh, oh yeah, kind of a basic, I think. Uh, unfortunately, to show things, I have to make them bigger. It's really inner finer, which may appear bigger, okay? But don't don't get too scattered around the universe. Uh, inner, there'll be a sense of bigger. You don't have to go out bigger. Uh, sense the finer vibration or whatever is there at that level. We continue to. Uh, do some work here to move into a finer dimension, inner finer dimension. Again, make start to feel much bigger. Don't get carried away with going out big. Just pick up the the flavor of it, the vibe of it, the, however you're picking, the sense of it, the uh, whatever level you're at. Okay? So that's not the be best sketch in the world. Uh, uh, but the best I can do <laughs> at the moment. Are we okay there? Dimensionality here and now. They don't, oh, they don't go anywhere. It's here. But as I look around, all I say is a bunch of nonsense. Okay. Get into a better dimension. Easy, settle. And you begin to feel oh, things feel a bit different now. Not as dumb as I've heard stuff, easy, finer, and you begin to sense the situation or whatever we're using for reference at a finer level. We're in the same place, but our, our, where we're coming from is different. See, that's again, my first question or my first uh, uh, catch on O-sensei, where the hell is this guy coming from? Okay. There's an obvious something from the interior, to me obvious, but I had sort of a good eye. Uh, so where the hell is this guy coming from that his world is affected so naturally, so strongly? See, what dimension is he in? You might use those words. And how does he get there? It's kind of my question to him. Uh, because I could at that time go into upper finer dimensions. I was a pretty good meditator, I think I've mentioned. Uh, but I didn't know if it existed here. And Daryl Sensei was here and this stuff is happening. Okay. Okay. So I had to uh ask him how he got there and uh and then to practice including that part of the universe in my inner sensing work.
Ah, are we okay, sort of, kind of, anything there? Is that too garbled? Sensei, I, I'm always um, deeply appreciative of the way you can hone in on the simplistic, like essential um, uh, way of which people operate and me in particular. And then you, and then you, and then you show with a sense of poise and grace, um, something much more elegant than what I can, than what I, than what I'm perceiving at the moment. And then when you show it, it's like, oh, of course, naturally, Nat that's the way, of course. But, but at the time, it just seems like I either gloss over because I'm in a rush, because it seems like it's slowing down enough to appreciate those stupid, those subtleties that are um, present. Yeah, well, in it's like I get now, distracted. Yeah. I get distracted. That's what it is. It's it's distraction of of progress when you when it's really going more basic, going more essential. Yeah. Uh, you know, my job. I did. It. I wasn't born in a family of of Stanford graduates. <laughs> okay, I'm working class family. Working class, not whatever they call working class now. I mean, working class, okay? Uh, nobody in my family went to college. I was the first one to, to make it uh, to, to junior college for a year or whatever, <laughs> okay? Uh, also, uh, I'm not a Japanese scholar. No, no, let's talk English, okay? Talk the language that we talk. All right, some words we have to refer to now and then, but let's not get carried away with that. So yeah, I like to present simple because I'm kind of a, a kiss kind of guy. Keep it simple, stupid. Ah, okay, common man's approach, okay. Uh, anyway, yes, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, Enough, enough, enough. Did I miss anything, anybody? Enough. Wrong. I don't think we need any more there. Yeah, that's recovered. Okay. Uh, oh, many different ways of moving into finer dimensions. Okay. Uh, so. Out of those variety of ways, find one that's your way. Okay, so we're doing chanting the last couple of weeks. Uh, some people love chanting. Oh, sensei loved chanting. I really liked it. I, I chanted away for a long period of time. It's coming back for me now again. I'm having fun again with it. Uh, other people may go through finer with something that they call prayer or something, and then they're doing something while they're praying. Okay, fine, or anything to bring you to an inner finer dimension. Uh, Aikido was meant to help facilitate that. So, okay, there, I won't bitch at this time. <laughs> Ah, uh, so chanting, okay. We're just trying to uh, use something to facilitate moving into finer dimensions, okay. In finer dimensions, the energies are more in balance and balanced energies breed a better character, okay? So if I'm tight and small, the amount of energies I have makes me up as that Bobby that, that you don't like. Okay, remember the one by one? Good game. We settled. We played a little game of stepping, and we moved into a two by two world. 
And it suddenly wasn't as crazy as the one by one. Maybe not fantastic, but it was livable. Then we did a little game. We stepped, extra step, just symbolic. And then we moved into a three by three world. And the energies in that world mixed up a better character who had a different view. It's a, whoa, I'm a pretty cool person in a pretty cool world. It was that kind of pattern. And it goes on and on following that same pattern. We could just uh, uh, have a whole um, style of just being one by two buyers and not have any other style. Uh, and that wouldn't be bad. A lot of people would just move along pretty well with one by two by three by four by whatever. Uh, but find one that's comfortable for you. Oh, Sensei said, you'll have your favorite, but try a couple of the others out. You get a little different perspective on things. Uh, I think we use the phrase uh, uh, travel vehicle, that there's different travel vehicles to get into finer dimensions. Okay. Uh, whatever's comfortable for you, try a couple of the others out to get a, a, a different sense of things. Uh, I'll have to mention something with fire, water, steam, which is one of our sensei's favorites, uh, but maybe not right now. Okay. Let's, let's move a little bit and we'll repeat. Oop, changing cameras. Okay. All right, standing people. Okay. okay. So that first picture of that center circle, okay, we're just sort of uh, acknowledging that and that they are energies. Easy. Ah, okay. I'm going to use this motion for the up and down flow of energies. There is a center line here. The energies flow up and down. And at a, not now, it's too soon, but at a certain level, they're more balanced. And, and there I am. A little more. I'm a little more. Okay. Don't ex uh, Okay, another hit or two on up and down energies. Easy, energies flow up from deeper, probably a little taller from there. They flow back down, touching their base again, or maybe a bit deeper. As we continue, if we were to do this for a while, it would definitely have a sense of being deeper. From the deeper, it flows up, probably a sense of higher. From that height, flows back down. Someplace in there, you'll feel a sense of balance between the two. And at that time, if you want to do a quick aside, okay, they're like, uh, this is a short form. Those are like parents. And, and as they mix, breed, find your own word, hey, here I am. Ah, see, even funding around here, I, I feel a little strong. I have a little more under support. I'm stronger here. Ah, ah this body has better hip feeling. Ah. Trick, don't think about who you are character, feel yourself first. As you feel that energy mix blending you character of the center, uh, as you feel yourself for a while first, then you'll after you have a viewpoint, a bit of a philosophy, a sense of whatever, okay? I just don't want you to uh, be character, oh, what character am I? and start doing that head trip thing. Are we okay so far with up and down energies? Okay. <clears throat> uh, at one time when I introduced this, I had you play a game. Of <clears throat> one of the energies is, is masculine and one is feminine. In your case, 
which was masculine, which was feminine in your case. And it didn't take but a minute, moment for you to say, oh, this one is. So all I was trying to also hit at there was, yes, one is masculine, one is feminine. They do what everything does. They breathe. Just like your parents did. There you are. Okay. So the sex story goes on for a long time. Okay. Oh. Okay. So there's the up and down energies. Again, we're doing short form because we don't have the time, right? Uh, if you are getting a kick out of this, go ye tonight, tomorrow, all next week, something, and really play with it. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, really play with it. Okay. Remember thinking level, feeling level, finer feeling level, sensing, sensing, sense, experiencing those energies up and down. And right here, I'm just playing that game of sensing. Oh, that's right. They spiral. When I first played it, I'm just playing it up and down. A quick screwing around here, sensing them. So, oh, that's right. They spiral and spiral. Okay. The circulars present here. Ah, acknowledgement. Ah. The energies of the circle come in. Okay. They go out. They come back in. Uh, as you easy and settle, kind of like as if feeling them. Uh, okay. Too soon to check with the character. We need better set of parents here, okay? Energy's in, easy. From that center, out. Energy's in, center. Back to the circle. I'm not quite in alignment. I can feel uh, the circle and and me as being a little not quite together yet. So I wouldn't see what character I am because I got a, a quirk, contortion. A, I'm off I'm off base a little bit. So I don't check to see who I am when I'm off base. I need a certain amount of balance. Easy. The energy to go out to my immediate world also come in. Ah, uh, that felt sense feeling maybe <sighs> the energies that go out come back in out of there that that beat is starting to feel harmonious to me so i could as a quick aside right here is saying okay in that harmony my parents are in agreement bang who am i the character don't think feel <sighs> Ah, I, I have an interest in, in my world. Uh, it's using an example of, you're even interested in your front yard garden. Uh, I say, yes. Now that you mention it, I, I am building up an interest. Kachi's away to Europe. I have to water the plants and stuff. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am getting more interested in my yard. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry, I have to give them examples, but... That's what's happening here right now. Okay, so that was just to get a, a just a quick double check on center circle. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, we're okay with that. Is there is, is any questions there? We're just establishing center circle and energy. <clears throat> I could continue with that form and have a sense of finer dimension to just continue that form of it, finer and finer and finer, 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 finer. Uh, 
but let's change to a chanting style. <clears throat> Simple one. Uh, I said, my choice, I'm going to have my center be ah, uh, radiating out to its partner O, and O is going to respond back to the ah. Uh. So I'm going to do a center radiating out to the circle, circle radiating back into the center in response. Okay, and again, use whatever ah, uh, o oh form that you want to. I just thought that was a simple sound from the center, and you might want to start from the circle, that'd be fine too. I remember I tend to be a center guy at first. From the center, not just saying it, I feel it for a moment. From the center, there it is. Yes, a certain amount of feeling the center, experiencing the center, whatever the word. From the center, center. Oh. Sense of touching a circle. Circle, having felt that touch, responds. Oh. Touches the center of awe again. The, uh, the center ah uh, thing that perked up a bit. Can't prove that, but I felt a little brightness, uh, hum, aliveness, something that sensed it. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, being more alive, centered. Oh, touches the O. I think it touched it fuller because it. I felt it touch it lower. I'm not on the halfway point. Uh, I felt like I touched the O also lower. Okay. No big deal. Just reference uh, so I can compare them. No, when the balance is there to have a character. Okay. Oh, having been touched. Responds back. Oh. Not perfectly in harmony, but just because we have to move along. <clears throat> I'm going to play the game that they were sort of more in harmony. My O sounds and feels good. My A ah is a little behind, which surprises me because I'm a kind of a centered major. Uh, but the O seems to be ahead today. Anyway, making believe they're balanced. Center to the circle and circle to the center. Ah, mixes up, breathes, find your own word. A character, me. Experience yourself, character. Don't think about yourself. Feel yourself, breathe yourself. Mm. Check yourself out. Ah. 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 Then after a bit, that character, it's felt itself, we'll have a, a viewpoint. We'll have a, some philosophy, whatever the right words are now. We'll have a take. Okay, we'll have an attitude. Okay, and it's me. Okay? I'm the character. So in a certain way, again, those are like parents. Okay. Uh, now, as we tap that self more and more, you have parents, but someplace along the line, we're gonna say, yeah, but who are you? Who are you? The essence of you? Okay, who are you? Is that, did I say that okay? Is that simple enough? You can pick up uh, the sound form, for example, uh, let's see, let's do an ah, uh, O and one B. <clears throat> okay, from the center, you can do it the other way around. <laughs> okay, you got the beat there. We can reverse it. 
O to the A. Easy. O. Okay. And again, as you continue, you'll feel uh, when they're in harmony. That should be pretty clear after a bit when there's a certain level of, whoa, they, they resonated with each other or, or you just can sense, feel that boom went to boom and bang went to bing. It just feels smooth. Uh, if you want to do a quick aside, then you could, anytime you get balance, you can say, okay, character. Get a flavor for the character and go back to the parents again. Get better, better dimensional parents. Go back to the chanting again. Uh, when you when you want to play with the character, you don't have to do it at every level of balance. You, you get you know a couple few levels of balance and then check the character out. You don't have to do every every balance level. Uh, your call. Okay, let's see where we're at. Uh, then I had uh, talked to you, mentioned to you, uh, one of O Sensei's, not his favorite, but I heard it a lot. So it wasn't one of the rare ones. I, I probably don't even know what the rare ones are. And that was the, uh, <clears throat> and my form is Yayi to Mommy. You want to reverse that? Feels better? Whatever you want. So Yayi and Mommy are starting to be aware of each other. It's like a dating game, I've said before. And they said, sort of, huh, who is that? What is that? <laughs> As I continue. Uh, both of them felt a little closer to each other. Don't know if these are the right words. I'm trying to tell you what I'm experiencing. Uh, they felt a little closer, not a distance away from each other. They're getting friendlier, okay? Yai ye yo, mami mu me mo. As they dance with each other, converge with each other, share with each other, any place along the way of harmony in there, you can check yourself out as a character. Those are parents. Are we okay so far? Okay. I wonder if I should hear. Yeah, let me, uh, uh, let me, some of you know it, you've heard it before, uh, but some haven't. Uh, one of the favorite of O Sensei. Chant. This one you'd hear a lot. Su. That's S U. Su. Su. U. U. E. R. E. D. Okay, so Su. A. O. Uh, don't use our earlier form of uh, oh, see how it shows up in your world. Uh, ooh, su, ha, uh, oh. Ooh, e, re, i, di. Okay, one more time on that. <clears throat> su, I'll give you a tip. Uh, uh, 
Su. Su referred to self. Okay. My self being present in this unfolding of the world, the universe. A O. Continuing U. R E I. Okay, now you play with it. Okay, so I give you a good tip by telling you what Su is. Okay, so oh, since I started that chant with an early finer sense of themselves, I'm the self at the beginnings of creation. And here's the creation unfolding. And while he's placing himself better there, uh, as opposed to backtracking like we're doing to get through the heavy stuff to get to a finer self, he's already playing. Now I'm a finer self, and here's creation, whatever. Okay? I gave you much more than I had in the early years. Play. Okay? Bob? Uh, yeah. It was kind of hard to pick up. I got the su uh, oh, I didn't get the clearly the the last part of that chant. Okay, su uh, oh, ooh, ooh, yeah, er e i g e r e i g e r e i g i. Got it. Thanks. And again, it was one of his. You heard it a lot. Okay. <clears throat> Would it go to Eddie? No. Nope. And then so? Nope. No. Nope. 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 Okay. Just Good. like I said it. Just like I okay. said it. Great. Don't bounce around. <laughs> you can do whatever you want to do, but. If you want to follow his classic, whatever, then that was it. Okay. Okay, where the hell are we? Uh, we got a tap. So, so. Ah, we okay with all that stuff? All that noise making stuff? Anybody, anything before we continue on? Well, since I oh look, my sound works. Yeah, um, we can hear there you loud he is. and clear, Ken. And <laughs> the, uh, so uh, the chanting doesn't transmit very well. And uh, did you want to just write out that uh, su a o u ere? Sure. There were some questions, so su su su. Su, su, ah, should I put an H for ah, oh, e. I'll give you another tip. He kicks back to the oo sound, not su, just oo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, just ooh, ooh sound, okay? Eh, re, eh, re, eh, re, e, g. Kenny, did that come across? Yep, yep. So sensei in Japanese, su a o u e re i gi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. On a good day, I can sound almost like him. I try to I try to retain his nuance, his flavor. Yeah. 
Well, we'll have to get that on a high quality recording. <coughs> Sometime. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just wondering if we don't have it someplace. Or same place. Okay. Now, a couple of words came to me uh, the other day when I was sitting around. Uh, fairy godmother, okay, and guardian angel. Let, let, let's look at those two words. From some place came this thing of, oh, a fairy godmother. Okay, we suddenly have this character, fairy godmother, and she she's interested in you and all that, whatever fairy godmothers do, okay? The other one is uh, the guardian angel. Must have come from some place we suddenly have this word and this guardian angel and you suddenly got this guardian angel. Character, thing, watching over you. What if these words came out of the self? that your self that's present and underlies everything here, self that's present, that that self is your guardian angel, your fairy godmother, okay? Uh, so not to get into a conversation, uh, uh, but your motorcycle accident approaching the tires, all the tires of that big truck. Yeah, last week. Yeah, nod your head. Okay, got it. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff going on. The guardian angel was there. How do you know? Because man, the way it was heading, it should have went under the tires, but it didn't. It sort of eh, at the last moment and uh, whatever. Oh, the guardian angel. Okay. <laughs> Self, <laughs> some some sense of presence, something, something. Okay. A anyway, just those words caught me. I thought I'd throw them out at you. Ah. Uh, okay. So in doing the chants and and stuff and moving into finer dimension, picking up a better level character. Now underlying all of that, at the level you're at. There is a self. self. Now, what should we do here? Uh, easy, shut one down. One possible game is uh, clearing the decks. Uh, so when I make move my hands this way, I'm sort of doing a downtime, a sense of everything dying out or clearing, and. Here is some percentage of self. Okay. At first, I don't know. Is there anything there? I don't, know. I don't feel anything. I don't see anything. Okay. Of course, that's quite all right. Of course, that's once. We do it twice. We do it 28 times. It's all relax. It's okay. Easy. Self. Is there any sense of a presence? Okay. See, again, remember the uh, uh, map, the brain map? Let me think about that. Let me think about a self. No, 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 no. We should be at least at feeling level. Nah. At finer feeling level. Nah. At sensing level. Well, this can make itself more apparent. Okay where you can hear it better, if you would, where you can eventually really be affected by its presence. And eventually it's cut to the chase where you experience, oh my God, that's me, true self, okay? So anyway, uh, so one form, 
all this balance of energies, okay? The character that's there, all of that easy. I'm sort of clearing the decks, I'm clearing, easy. It's clearing. The stage, could I call it stage? The stage is open for self to be more present. Okay. Now, of course, in the early ones, I, I still have some clutter on the stage. I mean, that's to be expected. Okay. There'll still be little bits of Bobby, unfortunately, some Robert, some Nado is here. Of, of course, at first, but as you downtime or clear, there'll be less stuff on the stage and self present. Self. You got a sense of that form of playing with it? Is that sort of okay, Bob? Bob? Mr. Doha. Yes, that's it. Okay. So clearing, downtiming. Bob, give me another word for this. Letting go of. You're muted, Bob. Passing on. Permeability. Permeability. Uh, I, I, I don't know the use of the word here. Say it again, Bob. I didn't hear it. Permeability. Uh, permeability. I'm sorry. One more time, please. <laughs> it's not that important. Sorry, Bob. Okay. <laughs> per permeability <laughs> means passing between, able to go through barriers. Actually, in this case, Lauren, more that the uh, things can go through me without disturbing me, without interrupting the vitality of the experience. Let's try. Okay, so that's one form. We're just practicing clearing and something better there we're calling the self. And then there'll be da 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 and clear it again. So another way of looking at that is uh, in the heavier dimensions, it's like we got uh, uh, an overcoat on, okay? If you can go through a little process to move into finer, so it's, you're not wearing an overcoat, you're wearing a leather jacket. And again, finer dimension, and you're wearing ah, summer casuals, okay? We're just going through dimensions, okay? And as we go through those dimensions, the finer dimensions enable the self that's there to make itself known easier. I was thinking of this as the dance of the seven veils. Bear with me, people. I was thinking of this as a dance of the seven veils. We've got this beautiful body there, but there's seven veils covering it. You heard there was a beautiful body, but you can't see the beautiful body, you can't touch the beautiful body, okay? So this trade-in time is one less veil. And again, one less veil. And as the veils fall away, this beautiful thing is there, okay? And we're calling that self. <laughs> Did you follow that example? <laughs> I wouldn't make it in any known church out there, would I? No. But the, the, the truth of the pattern is how it works. Okay. So whether we chant to finer dimensions. And you can tell by the tonality and the vibe of it that you're moving into that. When you uh, uh, 
feel you're hanging on to a lot of stuff and you're wearing an overcoat, Bobby. And you settle and you open and there. And the clothes begin to drop away. The veils begin to drop away. There's more clarity for the character. Uh, if you want to check the vibrations of things, yeah, things are, are feeling more in tune. Yes, yes. Any place around sensing level, uh, self should begin to be able to show. Okay. Uh, am I getting lost here? Are we okay so far? So different forms of moving through, different travel vehicles. We all right? Uh, Sensei, this is Justin in Miami. Quick question. Hey, Justin, yes. Hi. I don't want to derail you from your oh. conversation because I think yeah. you're dropping the Thank mic you. here. Amazing. But um, you mentioned how important chanting was to Osensei. Could mm -hmm. you talk about misogi or cleansing in the mm -hmm. context of the oh, moving of the veils, true. if you will? Well, misogi is basically the clearing of self or getting clear so self can show. Okay. Misogi would be the dumb identity of Robert or Nado. Easy, easy. And, and that's getting cleared because the energies are balancing out finer and the character starts to get a little bit better. And through all of that, self is there. So the misogi is a process to get to where self can show. And then you continue. It's not like self is perfect and I got it now. Don't, don't go there. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, continuation, uh, uh, self in its, in its a finer level of self, a more original level of self. We have a ways to go here yet, but you're in great country with self. Okay. It's not the heavy plod through of Bobby trying to get through all this energy nonsense. Uh, so, uh, it's a type Anymore. of continuation. Yeah. Is that sort of okay? Close enough for government work? Okay. Ah, 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 ah. What is, let's do, let's move along. Your, your sense of self. Okay, easy. And you've been balancing for years on end and all of that stuff, playing with better dimensions. Yes, yes. Let's all of that, all of that. Easy, easy, set it open, easy. Boom. Self. Not playing the game. Self is here too. I don't know the words. Some degree, I don't know the words. What is your sense? of self at this level what's your sense of it now gee let me think about that guys don't go into that brain eye what's your sense hear the word sense what's your sense of self if in my example at the moment uh, things are pretty quiet here, a kind of like a, a white background wall. It's kind of quiet. Okay. Now, for me, that's not self yet, but it's a good approach. It's a good approach. And I would say through that is self. Okay. So I want to say, oh, yeah, self's a white wall. And I, I play tennis and I use it as a backboard. I'm being facetious as hell, as you notice. The question is, open mic, what's your sense of self at the level we're at? Which may not be a fantastic level, but let's start. What's your sense of self? Open mic, go. No sense? Sense of Tom. Tom. Uh, hello. That? It's Tom. That? Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi. Tom, what's your sense of self? Well, I this familiar place of, of 
quiet, silent void, this sort of calm void, this um, place of uh, extraordinary familiarity. Um, been here before. <laughs> been, yeah, been here, very safe, familiar, but there's no verbalization, there's no, uh, no chatter in the brain. It's completely void, empty, comfortable, silent, and still. Okay. Again, for me, Tom, I don't yet call that self, but it's for me a good prep. It's a beautiful stage for self to very quickly now show. Okay. So the stage is called stages dark or void like. Yes, and through all of that, there it is. Now, whether it shows up on the next kick or 10 kicks or 10 days from now, I don't know. I just keep doing the beats, okay? But that tells me, so you, you know, it's a location on your map. It, you recognize it. You've been there many times. You like it. It's a nice, ah, oh, it's a nice place to be for a little while. It's not the end all. That's where people screw up, Tom. Oh, that's it. It's a, it's a calm void. That's it. I've arrived. I'm calm void. Continue. <laughs> You're not there yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you know that. I'm, 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 I'm talking, whatever. Boom. Okay. Uh, but do experience the, the pre-things, accept the pre-things uh, until it's so, I don't know, the words again, it's so there. It's making itself known and stuff. There's like, there won't be any question at, after a bit. Okay. Sorry, the words are bad, but we have to create a language for talking about self and having self be present. We have to create a language here, people. <laughs> ah. Let's pass again. Ready? Ready? All this, no, 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 no. All of that, dying out, downtime, ease, let it all go, whatever, whatever. Clearing the decks and self. What is your sense of self? Before you jump in, could I mention mine? Uh, there's some aliveness here. I didn't have that on my last go around. This is a, some sense, I'm, I'm losing it now. Some sense of uh, something's like, something is humming back there a little bit. Something's humming. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Go, what do, do that. What do you think? Are you lonely? What do you think? Are you talking to me? Or are you talking to self? <laughs> make make a sentence for me. Say what? Mm, I think that may have been crosstalk from Audrey. Audrey, are you there or loneliness and lonely? Sensei, this is Bonnie. Um, sense of self, uh, repeated I am, different images keep coming to mind, but I am. And whatever's coming at me, it keeps coming back to I am. Yeah. Uh, that's a kind of a commonality or one you'll hear in some form other people bring, bring up, I am that I am <laughs> or something like that. Uh, and that it's tonality or kind of the, yes, that's fine. Great. Thank you. Yes, I am. And then we don't stop there again. We keep hitting it, you know, I don't know. There's no questions, but it's, but to talk, people talk here for a moment. Yes, your I am. A, who are you? <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. Uh, again, I wouldn't ask the questions in that way, but just 
I'm trying to say, keep growing. Don't stop with, oh, I heard it say I am. And next week I said I am and I stopped. And then next month and it said I am. And next year it said I am. I was like, whoa, let's continue, whatever that means. Let's, let's keep clearing so it can show itself more and more and continue, for lack of words, its conversation. Is that, is that Thank okay? Thank you. Yeah, just don't stop short. There's a tendency in the human condition to stop short. If you're a nervous person and you're meditating to get calm and you reach a calm place, that's very nice. Enjoy the shit out of being calm. But that's not the end of creation. And a lot of folks think it is. Oh, the great calmness. Yes, and, and, come on. <laughs> That's a particular location. It could be very important to do experience it, to hang out there for a bit. But you ain't finished, baby, whoever. Continue. Okay. All right. Uh, I was talking to Stephen Samuels. If you, you know the name. A uh, long time Aikido from back in the day. Uh, and I brought the subject up of, uh, of uh, self. I said, uh, and he liked the word. He didn't like the word self. He liked the word original being. Okay. I said, okay, whatever. You want to call it soul? You want to call it uh, self? You want to call it uh, the pure one? You want to call it the original one? Uh, so anyway. But he did say, uh, I said, okay, how do you make uh, touch with that? Okay. And he said that he liked to listen, that listening format. Okay. And that he would practice uh, in woods, uh, go way back, way back, way back, off the trails, way back, and uh, catch his, I think I should go that way, or I think I should go this way, or what, whatever, and then continue to settle and listen to what this thing had to say. So he would practice, practice listening, and even set up games to facilitate listening. Boom, boom, boom. See, so there's a, I'm trying to say, there's an inquirer. You, you play with these things. Okay. You, to get the experience, to get the tricks of the trade that each individual us has to have our own tricks of the trade, okay? To move along into finer, better in a uh, properly. We're in a creation. And there are certain things in that creation that we have to sort of acknowledge and use as guideposts to get to self. And you just get to la la land, I can imagine anything I want to, uh, and, and miss that there's guideposts, you're still stuck in the creation forever. You're gonna go round and round. round, round, round. So there's a certain Pattern. Our pattern would be there's still a center and circle and a character. Underneath all of that is a finer self. Finer self to that centered circle situation. You see? In fact, the other way. So a pattern to get closer to it, to get into the experience of it. Oh, damn the words. To experience. Experience, oh my God, I am self, okay? And then self, a little bit of a turn around this point, self present here in this world, okay? I think that's what Amy Oakland was trying to bring up, if Amy Oakland is on. She's not on tonight. Yes, I'm here. It's sort of that sense of it, right? If self is there, then all this other stuff should click, right? Yeah? Yeah. 
I'm not putting too many words in your mouth. Am I? No, not really. No, that that seems right. You would think I mean, that if self uh, is here, it would just, yeah. I, I don't know. But it has to be, I don't know. Again, the lousy words, it has to be activated. I mean, I got to activate it. No, it has to be present at a certain level where it shows it's activated, for lack of words. I call it its aliveness. Yeah. As opposed to energy aliveness. Yeah. Its own aliveness. Yeah. And it's subtle, though. <laughs> it's there. Oh, at first, it's very <laughs> subtle. I'm, 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 I'm hearing vague murmurs from the background. Jesus, just hearing a vague murmur tells me, you know, I'm getting closer. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. Live with it. You hit it again, and then you hit it again, finer and finer and finer and finer. You've got a process. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got a process. It's yeah. not just once and it's gone forever or something. You got a process. Oh, since had a process, he talked about refining he was talking at a very fancy ass level and he'd say keep refining yeah uh, he didn't say oh, okay i got it now mm -hmm. he says no no continue with this oh, keep going do more finer finer mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh, because i touch self i've got it made now no you're still my, in that my hole. biggest <laughs> my biggest thing is it. that it's elusive it's there and then it's i not think there. i think we said that the elusive yeah. self <laughs> it's the damn elephant in the room mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so there mm -hmm. i don't see it <laughs> i'm gonna do something to where it's there yeah uh so that's what we're trying to do with, with some of these to show some possible approaches uh and we'll see if we can pick up the pace and find faster ways but we have to be careful faster ways can become an idea Oh, yeah, ah, I'm self. And it's total bullshit. It's total bullshit. You know? And, and so I, I'm just leery of the bullshit factor. So we're away. Go finer in that squared awayness. Double check the squared awayness. I do that by checking the character at that level. And continue, go finer. You know that process. You've done it. Hell, we did a lot of that in class, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. Keep going. It's not a one-shot thing. Okay, is there anything here yet? The process continue. Uh, and there's a lot of, um, I resonated a lot with what Tom was saying, too, about there's that calmness. Yeah. There's this space where it's like the canvas for the self to paint itself. Okay. And again, I like to go through it a little bit. So I'm not saying no, you're saying yeah. Mm -hmm. But now through the calmness, I accept calmness, I experience calmness. It's great. I can hang here for a little bit. That's nice. Now, boom. Okay. So I just like but that. You almost have to have that first. You have oh, to have that first. No, you have to have some squared awayness yeah. balance to do it properly or to have it happen properly. Yes. Mm. Yes. That's why we try to start squared away. Oh, since they call that in our dialogue, level one, whatever level one is to you, get squared away because we're going to continue to use that, I love the word, sense of squared away, even in finer, it's still within this structure. Okay. And then someplace when self kicks in as an actual presence alive with itself, its view of the structure is totally different because it sort of did a bit of a turnaround. Again, have to make up words here. Sensei, uh, it's Tom again. Um, yeah. I really, really love the reference to the basics to, as Amy says, preparing oneself or preparing one to recognize oneself because the basics help uh, help me to honor the self, to respect the self that's that, that I'm connecting to. But a lot of times without the basics, fear can jump in there. And, and, I, and a lot of folks are fearful of really touching 
itself. Um, but uh, Tom, I, um, I, let me jump in for a second. I, I, I've been, been on my mind for months about should I present or ask the troops, why are we afraid of ourselves? Right, <laughs> right, right. It, I mean, it's so bad, I mean, and it, that you ask people to settle down and they suddenly get more uptight. They don't right. even want to settle down. Why are they afraid of being present? Why are they afraid of their self? It's almost like we could sit around and bullshit this and over yeah. a bottle of wine some evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm game for that, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I cut you off. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just concurring with Amy that, that, that finding that self in that vehicle of calm, in that place of familiarity helps to, uh, to, get to a finer place to alleviate that fear, to ground it out, to center, to recognize self. And, and recognizing self, that's where the fear starts to come in. And in my, my opinion, um, that one has to be in a place to receive self, self recognizing self. I learned a lot of tricks. Remember the tricks repeat. I learned a lot of tricks when Bobby was afraid to let go because Robert was starting to mix and be present. And Bobby would kind of panic because Robert was all already giving a preview on what Robert could do. And Bobby would say, oh, shit, I can't do that. No one's talking to you, Bobby. It's Robert. It's unfortunate you heard what Robert had to say, but he ain't talking to you. You don't have to go and do those things. We know you can't. Robert can. But Robert. So I, I learned a lot with that fear of Bobby to Robert in whatever form it was showing back in the day. This is just a repeat again. So I've had practice with that, that first fear and probably the fourth one and the fifth one. And I, I've been through that now at this level, we're not talking energies and character and we're talking self. Of course there's the fear, but you know what, Tom? It's based on that same fear that Bobby had about Robert. And I should have learned something from that because I'm here now. Is that, did I say that right? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I love the way the creation lays out and whatever, gets back to itself, excuse the word. Uh, but there's a lot of preliminaries that are important preliminaries. And even though you move into a whole other level, there's something about what you gained in the earlier part that's very useful here. It, it's very similar. Is that? Is Sensei, that okay? I would like to jump in here. It's Justin in Miami again. Yeah, Justin. Uh, I feel um, from my experience and from what you've mentioned, of course, that many uh, people out here um, confuse a the character for the self, yes, and right. and their and and that they're not even starting as a square to one basic uh, level one. They're in a half by half or a much tighter space. Uh, and but 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 they have to start where they start. You start where you start. It is what it is. Maybe it's a shitty day, and that's where we start. It's not always going to be a great day. You know, but anyway, yes, and it would be good to even be squared away on your bad day. Exactly. Uh, don't exactly. say this, but uh, I feel like I'm, I'm an asshole. Wow. Okay. Feel yourself as an asshole. Be an ass. Keep it to yourself. Don't spread it around the neighbor, but be an asshole. You don't have to stay there forever, just for a minute, a moment. Okay. You got it? No, no. Let's move along in whatever form you use to move along. But to start with that unit is a good word. Unit is a good word to have a unit to start with. Because as we continue, the finer universal scale of that unit will still be there. <clears throat> I said something important, but if you didn't catch it, it's quite all right. We'll come back. Ah, uh, anyway, uh, so unit's a good word. I, I, I wonder if, if 
there's a fear by a self as it starts to get a sense of itself. Uh, uh, and it's uh, at first maybe a free floater. That anything, when I say, okay, come on, it fights me. Because it feels, I think, to itself to align at whatever level to this structure of creation. It feels, I think, like a trap to that one. It doesn't want to be back in a trap. I'm getting ahead of myself. There's a whole other discussion, probably. Uh, yeah, another whole discussion. Ah, time went by, time went by. Uh, and again, we really need more time to play with this self and your sense of self. We're going to have to do a session just self only. Now, no, shut up, just self, self. <laughs> uh, okay, I got time. You got time. Anybody got to go home? Go for it. Oh. Uh, yeah, not who that. It's autumn. That's autumn. Is it yes, ma'am? Is it useful to find a a why or a purpose to kind of get you through the fear, or is that only temporary too? Ah, a why or purpose? Like something bigger? Yeah. Okay, a finer level of self. I'm maybe going around a bit different. Finer level of self has within it knowledge about the purpose. So if we ever get to the fancy word mission. Now, how I map that out is job, real job, mission. So I don't use mission to mean, oh, yeah, my mission is to do the dishes. And my mission is teach IT. That's a job. So mission to me is a big word. Uh, what was my plan in my creation? It's called mission. So where the hell am I going? Uh, so self has within itself that knowledge. Okay. Uh, but you can trust, I might be di diverging into something else here. You can trust that you are where you are doing what you're doing. So far, so good. Don't doubt that. Don't fight that. There you are. And I told you one clue for you should have been, although you worked hard, it was also kind of easy. You won't say that to other people, but I'm, you know what I mean. There was a little bit of easy. It, things kind of clicked. Right. She may fight me on that one. Too. Like, I worked hard for it. Yeah, yeah okay, okay, okay. But ah, we say, you were a natural. <laughs> and even people who are natural still have to work hard. The natural baseball hitter still has to sweat and practice running and all that shit. Okay, fine. Oh, where, where are we, Autumn? I got lost in this conversation. Um, getting through the fear of the, the self as if there's like a greater, it's not, the word is not purpose, but if there's a, a bigger reason maybe or something that kind of gets you through it, maybe it's a trick, maybe it's, I don't know what it is. I don't know, one way maybe to look at it as a continuum for a while here, uh, that when we uh, settle, do our simple basics, uh, settle and there's a center and there's a circle and settle easy, hush, empty for a moment and boom. That, that next one or the next, after 10 of those, you feel better, okay, right? If you're to do it for 20 more minutes, you'd reach a place where you feel better. Okay? We're on a continuum. Why should it suddenly change? Now you can't feel any better after 23 or 230 examples of better, 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 better. It's not suddenly going to turn and crush you and screw you over. We're still on this, on this pattern. There might be certain things we along this pattern we bump into that are uh, finer and it takes us a moment or two or whatever to experience what it really is uh, but it's not really it's 
a wall or a stumbling place or somebody there ready to hit you with a club. Uh, it's been a continuum. I don't know if I'm on it yet. Go ahead, you're on. <laughs> um, so you're you're kind of like softening and opening into that continuum, and you're you're experiencing and and experimenting with that feedback, and and there's a certain level of trust that develops, but I think it's like what we're all longing for. And it's it's a very primal longing is to be able to tap into it at will without all the lead up, I suppose. Yes. Okay. She's talking about self. Yes. Okay. I forgot what word she used, but maybe the longing was my clue word. That's a self interest. You're right. Can I just be self? I'm working on. <laughs> Work on it. but what i'm afraid of is is the the games of self i'm self will start to bullshit and it's a lot of bullshit that. out there you know yeah. yeah you've had people tell you how great they are and you look at it and you know they're not you know it's total bullshit well what do you think they're going to do when i say self they're going to bullshit it so but you're right, you're right. We have this da, 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 da. In your case, it's not gonna be forever. I ask you to, to get a sense of how we language things of our center to circular energy, balancing the great he and she, whatever, 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 and experience yourself as a character, okay? And get a few dimensions of that just to get the flavor. But you're right, you're prime for self. So I hear what you're saying, but I would like you, so yes, yes, and yes, but I would like you also to double check the, uh, the boring basics for you, <laughs> uh, that good to have sort of a sense of, of them, okay? I'm not asking you to put 40 years in like some of these people, but just to understand our language. Absolutely. But you're right. But there's, oh, I've lost it. It's like um, I I don't I don't know how to express it, but um, there's it it just like if there's a way to I guess the basics are the way through. Sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry. All right. yeah. But but you're also right. Uh, so I am working on some stuff that I, we're running out of time here and the stuff I'm working on is kind of way out there. Uh, but I, I am working on this. Okay, but we're running out of time so I can't say too much. Nor if I don't, I'm not sure how much sense it'll make to a lot of folks, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, and anyway, I'm trying to cut to the chase, I call it. Okay. Uh, but again, it's important that people get a sense of the structure. Uh, so when they do catch self, they also know within creation, there's a structure that, I don't know, uh, Tom, I think, tried to say it has to be respected. It's there. The structure is God also. If you're using fancy spiritual words, God. Uh, but it is, and you can't disregard it and, and, and keep moving on out of this seeming trap called creation uh has to be some sense of how it worked and some respect for it and then all of that can go into what else sense they call the next level which he called the heavenlies getting fancy here uh but uh but yeah your your sense of uh, of that is, is is right that it is close it is here uh why can't we just shazam working on it but you do get okay with those basics i know they could be boring but even the basic will produce a better character you that you need every day when you you know hop on the bus or whatever you do in the city there you're in the city right yeah cool. uh you gotta be somebody to walk the streets of new york if you're nobody they're gonna screw you over you know what i mean you gotta be somebody going someplace, right? So those are basics. 
Oh, I got to walk down the street. It's getting kind of late. Okay, bad neighborhood. Oh, boy. Oh, you got to be somebody that walks down that street. So you're not the one they accost. They say, pass on this one. We'll get the next one. Thank you. We'll continue the discussion another time. People, I'm thinking it's time to get out of here and go get some din din. Thank you I'm so much, Sensei. Because Koch is in, in Switzerland. Enjoy. Ciao, all. Thank you, Thank Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thanks, Sensei. Thanks very Have much, a good Sensei. night. And good night.